Welcome! This is a tutorial how to create an online game in the Blender game engine. I have opened up BGE here, as you can see, and we will make, make with the easy online add-on a multiplayer game in this engine. At first, we have to install the add-on. The link to the add-on is in the description down below. We have to go to user preference and then just install the zip file you can download in the description. When you've done this, you can see, you can find the add-on in the down below the properties in the logic editor. Here we can see. If you want to make an online game, we have to do two things. We have to create a client in the server. We begin with the client. We have, at first, we have to create an empty object, like this. We can put it everywhere in the world we want. Now you can find in the multiplayer add-on panel, network type two things, server and client. We want to make, at first, the client. We click this. And here you can type in the IP of the server. At the moment I run the server on this PC, so we have to only type in localhost. The port, you can change what you want. I only, I always do this. It worked well, but I think other ports were, will work well too. Then we have to apply the script to the empty object. We go to always, enable this. Python. Now, you, as you can see module. in the text editor, the add-on automatically adds client pi, server pi. We have to apply the client, because this is a client data, to the empty object. So we type in client.main and connect it with the always sensor. Now the client is always sending data to the server. Now we have to make some chains with the cube. I make random um, movement. So W to make some motion. Um, It's just a small test, as we can see, what the client changes on the server. And this. Okay. IDA, I disable the client for the moment, as you can see as it works. And we can see the cube is moving. When we activate the client and run then the engine, it will take a while to start the game engine because there is no server active. The next thing we have to do is go to object settings in the multiplayer add-on and Activate the transmitter. Now we have to take a representative object. This is the object that is the other player seen on this client, on this screen here. At first we have to do a transmission because we do a position change. We got forward and backwards. As a, as a representative we have to do a mesh, also an object. For example, I do a cube again, which I make, I don't know, red. I call this cube player 2. So, now we have to tap in 
player two. Here by decimals you can change to five, then there's a updating of the other clients smoother smoother. And you have type in a name, let's do player one. That's it for the client. Next the server comes. To set up the server is quite similar to the client. At the beginning, we have to create an object, empty object again and scale it. Then always sensor and the, the script of the server, which is in the text editor. We connect the always sensor with the Python script. And now we have to change the network type to server, set up the port what we have in the client, the player count, max, the maximum player, and that's basically it. Next, we have to create the same representative object like in the client. So I take this cube and tape in player one. And give it, a, I don't know, a red color, and do it, put it on the other on an other layer. Now, when the client connect to the server, you can see that the red cube, which we put on the other layer for a moment, spawn at the client on the server. Now I've opened the client and the server. On the right side the server, on the left side the client. To get a connection it's very important to set at the server connection attempts to 1. Um, normally it's set to 0 but it have to 1 or more. The as you can see, the part is identical. The name is yeah, okay. Localhost is because this is only one PC. I want these two instances of Blender. And that's basically it. Now I run the server. We can see there's nothing because the client... I don't run the client. But if I run the client, you can see the server gets connected with the client and we can move around and the server gets information from the client and so we have a small one player game but now I try to add one another client to have two players in this small game In this setup, I have one server on the right side, two clients on the left side. Now I run the server and the first client. You can see there is a movement on the server. Now I run a second client and you can see it sends the data to the other client and the server. The same with the other client. It sends always and very smooth. But they don't collide because there are static objects, but you can change this in the physics properties to dynamic or widget body. That's, this is how you can set up a multiplayer game in the Blender game engine.